and then pretty immediately it got pretty sexual. Is what? She's never said it like this before ever. Am I crazy? Am I crazy or is this like a brand new thing that she's saying? I was forcing her to send me explicit images and make sexual deals for stream time. I'm so sorry. The agreement, I guess, is that I send him photos and we're sort of sexual with each other and then I get airtime. Is Tom retarded or something? Tom is honestly one of the most brain dead f***ers that covers all this shit, okay? If it was Sparta, we would have been left at the cliff and been chucked off the edge of the cliff. One of the little decrepit babies. Yeah, 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 I saw this, but couldn't find the clip. Yeah, I've got some sort of this thing. My throat's fucked, basically. I don't think it ever looked worse. Thank you, appreciate that. <laughs> Lav claims that she and Destiny had the agreement that she will send him photos and we're sort of sexual with each other and she'll get airtime. Is there, like, any evidence of this whatsoever? <laughs> so, yeah, my point is I'm glad that Max and Lav both put me off for as long as they did because it's turned into, um, you know, this I'm not, that's never that's like, everything started i'm not fully up on the lore but like if i if i remember correctly like he thought that your criticisms of sex work were disingenuous and you were trying to like advertise and, this is even before that that this yeah. is even before that so even before oh. that i called in just to talk because i saw the sex doll review and i was like hey you should probably take more breaks instead of yelling at your girlfriend like you should probably not make your feelings her problem uh which he disagreed with. Um, but anyway, it, behind the scenes, me and Stephen would talk because we sort of reconnected at that time because it was sort of just like passive talking to each other over the year that we had known of each other. And uh, Stephen was like, well, uh, you should stream. You should stream, like you're interesting. And I would talk to him about how much I hated sex work and how much I couldn't stand it and I didn't want to be in it anymore. And so this sort of became like my out mm -hmm. with Stephen being sort of like, you know, I have a following and, you know, I'll take you under my wing and, and uh, you can stream with me. And then pretty immediately it got pretty sexual, uh, like asking for nude photos. And I remember being like down with it, but also just being like, God, I'm, I'm doing sex work. Like, I remember thinking like, this is sex work, but if I have to just say, I what, this is like, these are, this is like a new claim. This is like new information that's being claimed now. What? <laughs> Don't we have, weren't all the logs given to Mr. Girl? Also, like, she's being disingenuous about the series of events here because she reached out to him to do the whole trying to encapsulate the man in a shtick situation that she's done previously, too. If I have to do sex work with one person to get out of OnlyFans, if I can change careers, I will take, I will just do it. What? I'll just do it. Um, and so then, and so then it was sort of just like, okay, the agreement, I guess, is that I sent him photos and we're sort of sexual with each other and then I get airtime. Uh, and then... The situation. Then he started. What? Ooh, that, this is like brand new fucking revelations. Started uh, like messaging me, and then he—that's when he told me the secret, or that's when he told me he had an affair with his wife. Um, pretty out of nowhere. So then he decided to become friends with me, is what he said. So then the lines were blurred. So then we were friends, and then we had also this compartmentalized sexual relationship in which it was like payment for stream stream time. Uh, but then we were also friends, and then it was just sort of I just was constantly sort of uh, confused, but also. I wasn't I was I was pretty happy with the deal right I get exposure and and whatever um so you know and I was happy with it uh, this is this is like these are these are brand new claims that are being made these claims weren't even made in Mr. Girl's article and yet she's just saying them look out why I mean why, why is it Carol Boy saying anything what the fuck what's going what is this is this what is going on uh and then um and then we met up <laughs> and it was fine. Uh, and then uh, he started acting a little different. And Tom is what she's saying true. I mean, like it's true as far as, as far as the way she felt about it. Like she's saying she's right now. She's just like, no, that is fucking. Does, does no one paid attention to any of this? This is new. What she's saying happened here is new. Is what? She's never said it like this before, ever. Going over, like, the course of events, and yes, like, the course of events that she's giving right now are true, but she's adding in, like, her No, not even that is... Not, no, that, not even that is correct, because the series of events she has laid out is wrong, because she reached out to Destiny 
um, with a sexualized comment in, initially as well. Like the, the whole series of events she's presenting here is fucked. Process into it, right? So when she's saying like, yeah, I was just kind of like giving, you know, I was giving him picks for content. Like that is her interpretation of it. Whereas Destiny saying like, no, I just wanted <clears throat> sexual picks from you. It had nothing to do with the content. Like they never had like some sort of verbal agreement to where this was going to be the case so when she's adding this in she's adding no, but what i think is being missed here is that this framing that lavas put it is new the the idea that she was engaging in sex work whilst talking to destiny like this is a new claim that's not something that to my knowledge she's ever this is like a new thing she's saying am i fucking crazy am i fucking crazy or is this like a brand new thing that she's fucking saying in you know, like her own narration Tom, it's not true. What's not true? What do you mean? It is not true. What is it? I can't do this, man. My voice is but too fucked. I, I can't. Like, there's a lot here. I, you guys drive me nuts when you just say something like, "That is wrong." It is not true. Like, what? What is it? What is it? That? What are well, you talking about? The nude pics never happened. They had been sexual for a while when she was streaming. Yeah, she mentioned that. That. I don't know what. I don't know what you're. I'm asking what part is not true. The sexual relationship I have. Maybe, maybe it's just because people haven't um, looked at it as much as I feel I have. <laughs> but people just say they have any fucking clue. This is the problem with Lav. This is the problem with Lav is her story changes so often and regularly. You need to be able to keep track of what it is she's saying. <laughs> you know, repeatedly to know what's what. I mean, the biggest thing is, point to me in the article where this framing exists. Like, surely if this is the claim that's being made now, that would have been something that would have been present or at least mentioned in the article in some way. What's his other poster? I, I can't, my voice is too fucked to fucking shout and shit. So, PowerPoint's going full mask off and admitting he doesn't care about it. Why didn't you ask for proof for such a huge accusation? Because I don't give a shit. It's probably something she inferred or felt like the time it was convenient that he showed sexual interest in around the time she wanted to start streaming. Destiny can easily explain that, though, that just the time of their relationship and there could be a perfectly innocent explanation. I actually just don't care. I don't think he's going to mask off. This is a bit of a hysterical um, framing of, uh, of Counterpoint's comments. But, I mean, yeah, it's obviously a bit cringe because the thing is, is Lav is someone who relishes in being able to change reality to her liking. So... If you're just going to let her come on and wax lyrical, I mean, it's up to you at the end of the day. It's your fucking stream. I just think it's a bit cringe. I don't think you can take a centrist position with with uh, with Lav. And yeah, I just, you know, I think that, I mean, if it's, it is such a big claim that she's made. It is, it's like a big, it's big, you know? Jesus, man. Go roast thought slime. I Listen, I'm trying to take it easy. I was supposed to just chill, but then I heard about the hiss. You know, the pushback meme is a bit cringe, but there's nothing wrong with just him going, okay, well, hang on a second. You're making a pretty big claim there that goes beyond anything I'm familiar with. Like, what, what is this you're saying? That Can you, you know, do you have anything to back this, this idea up? I don't know. That would be my way of dealing with it. But then obviously, imagine if he did this with the Sia drama. I mean, I don't want to suck myself off, <laughs> you know. But, but yeah, I mean, if someone makes a big claim, I think you've got to just put a pause on it and go, hang on a second. That's like, you know, pretty, pretty major to just throw out like that. Like she's claiming that essentially the Harvey Weinstein thing is true <laughs> when there's no evidence that I've seen that backs up at all. Happened before she was on stream. Yes, I, I'm aware. So they had not, had not what? I, I, I mean, think it, it's not like he has to fucking push back even. All he has to do is go, hold on. That's a pretty big claim you just made. It's not a claim I'm actually familiar with. Do you have anything to show me to, to back this idea up that it was, you know, sexed, sexed for exposure? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, I just think people just aren't as invested in it all. I, that's my guess. I think you guys are confused. Hold on. Let me go back. Doing sex work. 
Like I remember thinking like, this is sex work, but if I have to just, if I have to do sex work with one person to get out of OnlyFans, if I can change careers, I will take, I will just do it. Also the timelines on this, you need to double check the timelines too, because when she was leaving OnlyFans, that was when I met her. And then she ended up going on to Destiny Stream. And I thought, oh, did I end up putting Destiny Lav on Destiny Stream? But they'd actually spoken prior to her going on Destiny Stream for the first time over the OnlyFans sex work stuff. So there's like a massive timeline discrepancies here as well that, you know, even without knowing from looking into it, I would know of because of my experiences dealing with Lav. So there's massive discrepancies here. What's this? I was in fact virtually prostituting Lav. <laughs> I was forcing her to send me explicit images and make sexual deals for stream time. I'm so sorry. He raped me multiple times and he told me if I didn't come onto his stream afterwards, he'd tell the word that I raped him. The thing is, is like, listen, a, a meme or whatever is one thing, but this is like a very serious claim that's being made. That's in excess to any claim that's been made prior. And everyone, including Tom, Tom's just there like, well, from her perspective, well, what is, what is true? From her perspective, it's true. <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking mental. I'll just do it. Um, And so then, and so then it was sort of just like, Okay, the agreement, I guess, is that I sent him photos and we're sort of sexual with each other and then I get airtime. Uh, and then- The agree- She's- What? She, what? This is new! What's going on? My voice! Fuck! The situ then he started, uh, like, messaging me and then he, that's when he told me the secret- Or that's when he told me he had an affair with his wife. Um, pretty out of nowhere. So then he decided to become friends with me, is what he said. So then the lines were blurred. So then we were friends. And then we had also this compartmentalized sexual relationship in which it was like payment for stream stream time. Uh, but then we were also friends. And then it was just... This is insane. Just sort of... I just was constantly sort of... Uh, See, whatever <clears throat> you guys heard there is not what she said. She didn't say we had sex after I started streaming. That part never happened. So I don't know where you guys got that from. But that didn't happen. She didn't say that. It is Tom listening to a different fucking conversation. All these people are retarded and incapable of covering this. That's what I've decided with this. This is fucking insane. <laughs> it is not a thing. Go back more. Nude photos, and I remember being just like passive talking to each other. She is claiming that she was sending sexual images to Destiny and, and trading sexual images for time on stream. That's the claim she's making. She's making like, you know, and that, and she's not saying, you know, from my perspective or I interpret it this way. She's saying that's what happened. She's framing it as fucking sex work. Like, what the fuck? Other over the review. And I was like, I saw on one of his streams and um, like, kind of strange relationship where we keep up with each other. It's mostly friendly, not really sexual. And it was like vaguely sexual. Reach out to literally, at that, this is what happened. Uh, two, three years ago, I think, uh, I reached out to Steven because I viewed his stuff. And he's released those, I think. Just like the, I like the sound of your voice, whatever, kind of flirty, whatever. At that point, I had 100,000 followers on Instagram. So you could reach out to literally, at that point, you could reach out to anyone you want and they'll pretty much respond. I could reach out to any celebrity and they, they see you, especially because I'm verified check mark um, from music. So it was just sort of this, one of those things. Um, and then we started talking about politics and, and stuff like that. And it was like vaguely sexual, but not really. And we were flirting, but it was like, uh, whatever. And then that kind of continued on, on and off. Without, I never wanted to stream at that point. I didn't want to stream. Uh, and the person who put it into my head to stream was Steven. Um, and so for a year, it's just sort of this like kind of strange relationship where we keep up with each other. It's mostly friendly, not really sexual. Um, and then I see Max on one of his streams and uh, Max made Steven see, seem more interesting. Uh, and also made me uh, think that maybe, I don't know, that I wanted to be involved in some way. So I called into Max's stream and then, you know, <laughs> That's, not, that's, not, how, not, that's not, how everything started. I'm not fully up on the lore, but like if I if I remember correctly, like he thought that your criticisms of sex work were disingenuous really? and you were trying to like advertise. And... This is even before that. that this yeah. is even before that. So even oh. before that, I called in just to talk because I saw the sex review and I was like, hey, you should probably take more breaks instead of yelling at your girlfriend. Like you should probably not make your feelings her problem, uh, which he disagreed with. Um, but anyway, behind the scenes, me and Stephen would talk because we sort of reconnected at that time because we're sort of just like passive talking to each other over the year that we had known of each other. And uh, Stephen was like, well, uh, you should stream. You should stream. Like you're interesting. And I would talk to him about how much I hated sex work and how much I couldn't stand it and I didn't want to be in it anymore. And so this sort of became like my out. With Stephen being sort of like, you know, I have a following and, you know, I'll take you under my wing and, and, uh, you can stream with me. And then pretty immediately got pretty sexual, uh, like asking for nude photos. And I remember being like down with it, but also just being like, God, I'm, 
I'm doing sex work. Like I remember thinking like this is sex work, but if I have to just, if I have to do sex work with one person to get out of OnlyFans, if I can change careers, I will take, I will just do it. I'll just do it. Um, and so then, and so then it was sort of just like, okay, the agreement, She's I guess, is that I sent him photos and we're sort of sexual with each other and then I get airtime. Uh, and then the situation, then he started. Is, is it sped up or something? No. Uh, the agreement, I guess, is that I sent him photos and we're sort of sexual with each other and then I get airtime. Uh, the agreement, I guess, is that I sent him photos and uh, sexual photos and I get airtime. Like. It's clear as fucking day right there. This is a new claim that she's making, which has not been made previously, which is a very specific claim, which would need some fucking evidence to back up. Yes, your claim. she's claiming that there was an agreement between the two of them that she would send sexual photos for airtime on stream, which is, you know, the Harvey Weinstein shit. But everything that we've seen is opposite to that. The Destiny didn't do anything like that with her. And then the situ then he started uh, like messaging me, and then he definitely told me the secret. What do you mean there? She didn't say they had sex yet. Is Tom fucking retarded or something? Tom is honestly one of the most brain dead fuckers that covers all this shit. Okay, just stick your fucking nose out of it, Tom. You retard. You clearly don't know what the fuck you're doing. Okay, what fucking planet are you sat on? Sat there going, oh, what's the problem here, guys? Oh, they're not talking about sex. So what's the problem? What a fucking retard. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What's the what problem? There? Fucking Mr. Magoo. I can't watch Connor's stream because it's fucking gone. I don't know where it is. <clears throat> I shouldn't be With watching the agreement this. Agreement in writing? Is... No, that's again. This is what I'm saying. She's like, she's adding in like her own narration to it. She's adding in like her own perception of things. Get it now. It, she's not just adding in her own narration and perception. This is a brand new thing she has said. She has not commented it on the, in these terms before. This is the first time she's ever commented it on it in this way with this fucking framing ever that I've heard. I've not heard her speak on it like this ever before, that there was you know nudes for airtime. That trading nudes for airtime didn't happen. Hold on. I, I know. I, that, that's, nobody's even talking about that. Nobody. No, duh. Nobody said that. I, like nobody said that she, she again i said this earlier that yes i had already said that that she was that there was not agreement that she was just adding in her own narration to this no one said anything Thanks about them having Henry. sex what Sounds do you mean like an unspoken perceived agreement exactly like wine she said that the agreement Quid was that quo. she sent pics for air time so are I you mean, guys seriously you, you made me rewind this just to that was for, me, Henry. just for me to see what There's i already said drama. Are you kidding me right now? Is that is this a joke? What the hell? What is happening? How is Tom so fucking retarded on this? That's why he had an affair with his wife. I'm pretty out of nowhere. So then he, like, what the fuck is going on? I was just like. Literally, what is going on? Um, and then uh, I found out that he was, I was unhappy with the way that um, I was part of a sexual dynamic in which he was sex. Okay, I think I went to. Then he started saying, and this is a man who, I fucked with, but also, I wasn't, I was, I was pretty happy with the deal, right? I'll I get back exposure. Back one sec, okay? And I didn't whatever, get um, anything, So, I? you know, and I was happy with it. Uh, yeah, see, this is a big part of like BPF's argument is that like she, if she seems she to be like complicit lying, in what it is that she's saying, and she's saying like, like um, you know, away. yes, I will wanted she? to do this. I, this was my deal. This is what I wanted. I got my, I got my share. I got what I asked for. Like, I'm pretty sure, uh, like, I, I'm pretty sure this is what BPF is talking about that, uh, that like yeah it sounds like she's like agreeing to do this ahead of time without like any sort of like a i don't know coercion or anything to it uh and then um and then we met up <laughs> and it was fine uh and then uh he started acting a little different and then i started coming on more and uh then he started saying and this is a man who already knew that my reputation was completely in his hands because that's why he wanted me to stream with him he knew that it would get exposure and that I would be building a community through his community. So he knew that he had all the power. And through that, he started saying that I was an abuser. And he said that I would abuse him and man manipulate him in conversations. And so all of a sudden... I okay, wait. 
Okay, wait. Oh, okay, hold on. Did I miss anything? You guys are saying they had not been sexual for a while when she was streaming. She said that they had been sexual for a while when she started streaming. Okay, now I understand. Okay, so when you said it's sexual for a while, I thought you meant that she was saying that's my fault. Okay, so my I misunderstood. Yes. Okay, so has the penny dropped? She yes, they had had they had been sexual for a while before she started streaming. I was like, wait, hold on, buddy, what the fuck is going on? And I was even messaging him like, I'm gonna kill you. Why would you say something like that? And so now his uh, you know, his fans are like. Wow, she's so vindictive. She's so manipulative. Who did Destiny have an affair with and considered leaving Mel for? Nobody really knows, but uh, like, it seems most everybody believes it's Lauren Southern. Like consensus, everybody believes that it's Lauren Southern. Um, Interesting. There's mm. every time I've asked for proof, people are like, "No, it's proof." Like even counterpoints, he, he admitted it, and then they show like a very vague messages that don't mm. actually like say anything it's it's just all very vague all anyway listen that has been read five pinocchios so let's just move yes, on yes it's conjecture there's nothing substantial here nothing to latch on to so yeah couldn't say don't know wouldn't like, and to I was speculate. Just like what the fuck is going i was just like what the fuck is going on um and then i talked to him about it and he said i was i was using darvo and so i was just like in this situation where i was just like what the oh. fuck is going on i was just like literally what is going on um and then uh, I found out that he was, I was unhappy with the way that um, I was part of a sexual dynamic in which he was sexting Terry and sexting and trying to sext me or trying to meet up with me and trying to meet up with her. And then he'd message me being like, Terry's on right now, like time to get her. I don't think, I, I see, you're saying it's crazy how Connor just let her lie and didn't push back once. I haven't heard a lie yet. I don't know of any lies here. Tom is just a retard. I don't, why? Why is Tom taking this fucking insane charitability line with Lav? That is wild. So far, it, like everything she's saying is just so vague to where you could misinterpret this. And I think that if I was him, I would be asking for a lot more details. But I haven't heard her lie about anything so far. Uh, and I became really uncomfortable with the okay. dynamic of him pitting two women who... No such thing as an affair in an open marriage. That's just not true. That is just blatantly untrue. He had sexual relationships against each other. Um, and so anyway, I is that it? Have I managed to get a bit of fucking... I didn't even intend to do this today. I thought I wouldn't be able to cope with... Uh, I need the white blood... Someone just said in chat, I need the white blood cells for myself. But uh, that, that was just crazy. You don't have to unsub from anyone involved. Don't be, I mean, if you were, it's up to you. I would never say you need to unsub from anyone. I mean, I, I think that's probably it, right? I mean, is there anything else? Just that claim and people be like, oh, what's all? What's the lie, though? <laughs> How long was I talking about it for? No, is that enough for a YouTube video? Just got a DM about the stream. Want to say, really disappointed. The Lauren Southern rumor spread as far as as been a Southern, but just that, an unsubstantiated rumor. I agree, DK. Wasn't it you that was saying it in my chat on the on the night of, of the uh, event? <laughs> Let's put it that way. Anyway, listen, I, I just look. Is that enough for Lav? Is that enough for the fucking Lav segment? Do I need to say more? Can I just watch my little fucking fake... Tourette's TikTok thing I wanted to watch. Oh, apparently Counterpoints does comment on it at the end. The last three minutes of his stream. Okay, there might be a saving grace for Counterpoints. Let's see. Lab lied about saying Destiny trades or sex for stream time. Yeah, I thought that was not accurate. I agree with that, but whatever. It's implied. I just... Maybe I'm alone in this, but if someone makes like a big claim like that, to me, it's like, you got to fucking say something. See something, say something. He's kind of just like, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. So well, I'm not I'm not asking him to be like, Lav, you have done a deed most foul and you have lied. 
in the court of destiny. Like, just say, hey, that's a pretty big claim. Like, wh where, where are you getting that from now? That's new. Do you know what I mean? Just fucking something, at least. I don't know. <laughs> at least register the fact that you're saying, hey, that sounds like total bullshit. Don't send me to Tom. He's mean. Based. How often are you planning on doing battle reports? Well, I mean, if we get a positive reception. I mean, I've got to say, listen, hopefully, hopefully he wasn't as, uh, hopefully he was a bit more thorough when he was a fucking copper. I mean, Jesus Christ. Reception. I mean, we, we made like 70, 80 bucks off of the battle report. I don't know if people were just being sympathetic to me because I have a kid or if they were actually enjoying the content. Um, but if they, yeah, if people enjoy the content, then I'll, uh, I'll do it. I'll do it monthly, probably. She didn't lie, she just holds a lot of viewpoints. True! True, the female brain holds many viewpoints at one time. Um. I've got to be honest with you, right? Listen, I love a... I, look, thank you very much for the 499. I love a bit of anti-woman jokes as much as the next person, okay? But I feel when you do it with Lav, it gives her a lot of cover. It's not because she's a fucking woman, okay? Lav is a particularly pernicious, disgusting piece of shit that goes beyond her just being a woman, you know? It's not just to do with being a woman. Like, there's plenty of women out there that aren't going to fucking co just concoct this story, whole cloth, about, um, you know, nudes for screen time allegations. Like, what the fuck? Aw, uh, thank you, Michael Chiazon. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dickie Boy. I appreciate you. You're, you're a classic. All right, so Eugene Peterson, I answer your question probably once a month. But anyways, all right, parasocial love to you. Have a beautiful night. <clears throat> I appreciate you. Catch you later. Bye. Damn. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's pretty wild. But I got a bit of extra juice on the, because as we talk about Lav, I might as well throw in some Mr. Girl shit as well while we're at it. What's this? Bro, bro. The guy is mentally deranged. Ill and cringe. His entire life is about trying to take somebody down for some made up bullshit. I do not care. He looks like a f bum and he is a bum. I don't care. I do not care. I am fully open about my deranged beliefs. He's the type of people, okay, that even if. I know I watched this clip yesterday, but look, there's more apparently. Apparently, Mr. Girl cries. Apparently, Mr. Girl cries. Oh my god, it's the Will interview! No way! It's the fucking Will and his channel fucking glazing session. He was no right way. about something. I would still argue he's wrong and die on that hill that he's wrong and be wrong on purpose just to annoy him. I don't care. Well, just some Disney drama sh like it. Uh, well, it's crazy that people are. Uh, people try so hard to go at. Like, bro, you know what sucks? You know what sucks? Uh, bro, you know, you know what's odd? Is that it's hard not to sound like a Destiny Glazer, right? There's a bunch of that he does wrong, but people try to attack all the wrong angles about him. And it's just cringe to see them, to see them try it. Uh, it's just odd. There's so much shit to go, to go, to go at him about. Uh, just go, uh, just get him at, at, at his weak points, not his strengths. Like, uh, it's just odd that he will try it. I don't know, it's just odd. I know what they're trying to do. Yeah. Did XQC today just said on stream that I'm ontologically evil. XQC? Got the XQC yeah. shout out. Wow. Yeah, he said. Is Will is like <laughs> subhumanly retarded, man. I swear to God. If it was Sparta, Will would have been left at the fucking cliff. He'd been chucked off the edge of the cliff. One of the little decrepit babies because he's so fucking retarded. Oh, wow. You got the XQC show out? Yeah, it's fucking based on a massive streamer just fucking shits on you, isn't it? What the fuck? That I'm on. He said he's so sick that I would disagree with him no matter what, even if I was wrong. Something like that. Uh... Yeah, it doesn't matter what he did. He, he didn't read the f***ing report. Absolutely Definitely not. not. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely like so. Like you don't even know what you're talking about. So it's just that. It's just yeah. If you defend, if you want to comment on it, you've got to read the hundred thousand word report, guys. Good one. What the fuck? Or even clarifying.
something I said, then you, you can be lumped in with the bad people. Affected my credibility? It could be positive or negative. I'm just curious, like, do you feel like you've bo maybe boosted some areas, reduced in others? I'm curious, like, what your read is on it. I don't know. People signal about my credibility, but I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, again, XQC saying I'm ontologically evil, does that mean anything? Has he, does he, like, does that affect me? Is that really what he thinks? I don't know. I have no idea. I, I Did he even watch what XQC said about him? Like, it, that wasn't even the thrust of his point. The main point he was making is that he feels like, you know, Max is going after him for retarded reasons and is like a weird, obsessive guy. I don't think I can really judge that. I don't have a sense of that. I have no idea what my credibility is like. I know that I... I, my sense is that I, when it comes to like talking to academics and professionals, revenge. that they immediately find me credible, <laughs> uh, just in general. So that seems that feels like what I experience. There we go. We've got a little bit of bonus Max content in as well into that segment. Jesus Christ, man. Failed streamer industrial complex cope session. Well, unlike uh, <laughs> unlike Max, I mean, Will, Will is just a complete black hole of talent. Like he's a fucking retard. He, um, oh my God. <laughs> he's he did this thing. So he's obsessed with like, oh, I'm leaving the space, guys. I'm leaving the space, but constantly continues to engage with it, you know, and stuff like that. Like the fact that he did a Mr. Girl interview after saying he was leaving the space. Um, but he had this like thing where like, it's like a, it's some gay like AI thing and he's created a fake image of a box and is doing this ARG and he's like, oh guys, I've been sent a box, what's inside? And it's all AI nonsense, right? But he bought on like Smeth and Elder Drazi onto a stream the other day. Guess what the conversation became about? Indecent images of kids. And that might be what is in the box, basically. And what was funny about it is there were more people watching in my Discord than there were watching his live stream. <laughs> Kind of tragic, really, but anyway, just a little couple of Will memes at the end there.